Everything I'm about to say, you already know it's going to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. All right, all right, my brothers. By now, the more intelligent among us have sort of figured out what I mean by Negronomics and why, I, why I'm breaking it down into various topics. Because there is a marketplace out there for all of these topics, including constantly talking about Pookie. You know, Pookie is very mysterious. The origins most of you are not even aware of. It comes from a joke by Robin Harris, and, um, Harris a, a, a late comedian. I think he did the joke around the early 90s or something like that. Uh, may, 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 maybe late 80s, something like that, right? <clears throat> and, um, excuse me. And the joke was really about Bebe's kids and it's kind of just caught on, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so here we are, 30, 40 years later, we're still talking about Pookie, the mysterious Pookie. And the definition of Pookie has changed over time. But one thing about Pookie remains a constant. He is the scapegoat and the cause for all of the ills in the black community. It's, it's, it's amazing. You know what I'm saying? We accuse Pookie of getting all the good women. When in fact... No good, decent woman in her right mind would deal with a dude like this on the screen. Now, let me say this about the about the images I'm going to be showing you. Um, that brother on the screen is King Von. He's dead. I need to make this clear now. This is not some kind of diss on King Von. It was I found him randomly. I was actually just pulling up images, and in my criteria, and his image popped up right along with his actual girlfriend at the time of his death. She's not on this screen. I'm going to show her later. Along with his actual girlfriend, they just popped up. So they were random. They wasn't, I didn't pick them to, to try to belittle them, right? They were just picked. So, you know, rest in peace, dead dude, you know, dead homie. You know what I'm saying? He's not a homie of mine. He's from Shy Town, I believe. He's not from where I'm from. But, you know, young man lost his life at 26 years old. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's unfortunate, you know, to die so young. You know what I'm saying? I have a lot of young I have a lot of friends that die young myself, so I know what that's like. So this is not about King Von. But what I did like about King Von is his image, his persona. He was the perfect image of what we was trying to talk about, right? He fit it, you know what I'm saying? He he had he he, he got he 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 is he is the personification of a pookie, you know what I'm saying? I mean, let's just say it like that, right? <clears throat> But the thing is, though, what do men like him actually do to men like me at, at this point? See, I used to be him. Now I'm not him. So he don't even live in my world no more. When I was in the same world that he ran in, that was a different story. I retired from that world. So dudes like him, I don't even come in contact with right now. You know, the kinds of women that were like him, I mean, I wouldn't have messed with them. So... What's this thing that we have in the black community where we always wants to blame the Pookie and the Ray Ray for everything? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. And I, I need you to hear me on this. I need you to hear me on this. When we say that the black community is in such a disarray or it's gone down because of Pookie, that's not true. Pookie is an effect of something. He is not the cause. Oh, yeah. Y'all mad already. Here we go with the clicks. Here we go. Here we go with the mad. I'm telling y'all, look, Allah is putting this on my heart, man. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to stop, bro. You know, y'all, I don't know what to tell y'all. I'm going to tell y'all the truth, bro. I'm trying to bring y'all up to a higher level of understanding. Pookie is not the cause for the problems in the black community. He is an effect. He is part of a ripple of, of, of consequences from that uh, uh, based on things that took place before Pookie's grandmother was even born. 
Oh man, y'all ain't hear me. Y'all ain't hear me. Y'all ain't hear me. These dudes are not what's wrong with the black community. These dudes are only proof and evidence that there is something wrong with the black community. But it's not just these dudes. Let's be, let's be crystal clear about this. Let me find this next image, man. Because we need to be, we need to understand what we're talking about here. That's King Von and his girlfriend at the time of his death. She is a female rapper who calls herself Asian Doll. Asian Doll, right? Not African Queen. Not Indigenous Queen. Not Aborigine Queen. Or Doll. Asian Doll. Understand that. Those are the kinds of women these dudes actually end up dating. The kinds of women that y'all claim are chasing him want nothing to do with him. But the kinds of women they actually end up dating are women like Asian Dawn. I'm not dissing Asian Dawn. I'm only saying she's hood. That's all I'm saying. She is a product of the exact same environment. Do you see the similarities? Dudes like him, that's what he like. But dudes like you, brothers, y'all shouldn't want that, so y'all shouldn't care about him getting that. Sisters that might be listening to this, y'all shouldn't want him, so y'all shouldn't care about her getting that. But we have to be clear King Von, uh, sorry, not King Von, those types of dudes are not what's wrong with the black community. What's wrong with the black community is Negronomics. The economics of shoving things down our throat by content creators, by leaders, shoving it down our throat so that they can gain financially and econ and social economically off of it there's no bigger scapegoat right now for everything than pookie P i mean pookie got it going on this dude get all the pretty women he makes all the money no he's either rich and got all the pretty women or he's broke and all the rich women want him you, you know what i'm saying uh, i mean you know y'all be all over the boat but anywhere it go y'all blame pookie somehow for why you don't have access to women when you do have access to women. The only reason why you don't have access to women because you're worrying about the wrong kinds of women. You're worrying about the wrong kinds of women. These women on the screen right here, are they're not, um, I don't know if they're models or what they are, you know what I'm saying? Again, these images came up randomly, you know, um, but I doubt seriously any of these women would actually deal with King Von. I'm, I keep saying the dude's name, I gotta stop that. It's not about him, excuse me. Would deal with a pookie? I doubt seriously these women would deal with a pookie. You know what I'm saying? They like fly girls and everything, but I mean, don't don't get it twisted. A lot of these chicks like 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 more elevated type men, you know what I'm saying? I've dated women that look like the women on the screen right now. You know? They don't like like wild, 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 you know, uh ignoramuses type dudes, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have a little something more about yourself. And I believe a lot of you brothers qualify. But the problem is, y'all too busy thinking y'all competing with a man that y'all not competing with. Y'all y'all too busy thinking that y'all that y'all are losing to somebody who is who, who who themselves is losing. Them dudes may live their best life, but their best lives are short. You should not envy that, man. You in fact, you should praise them. You should applaud them, bro, that they went out and tried their hand their way and they balled out while they could. Now they gone. You still here. But you still talking about them as though they are the problem. But do you know who really caused the black community to go down? The black leaders. The black politicians. The black community leaders. The black activists. These are the ones that really created the environment that Pookie is in. I'm telling you, I'm older than y'all. The black community was not like it is now. Every decade in my more than 50 years of living, 
it has gotten worse and worse and worse. And we are still blaming the same elements for situations that they did not create, for situations that they were born inside of. They're just trying to figure it out like you trying to figure it out. They took that route. You took another route. But for some reason, you constantly look at him. Do you wish you were him? Do you wish you were a pookie? If the answer is no, then let them be. Because you're not competing with them. You're not competing with them. No woman of a certain level of maturity wants them kinds of dudes. And if you, if you see a woman, I don't care how she looks. If, if that's the kind of man she won't, you are not losing. There are plenty of women out there that wouldn't go near a dude like, like the ones y'all described. Wouldn't go near him. Y'all have options, bro. But y'all can't see those options because you're constantly told how pookie is the problem. And you focus on him. Most of y'all don't even live around black people anymore. And y'all still talk about how Pookie destroying the black community. You're not even a part of the black community anymore. Most of y'all don't even see a black face. Y'all can go in y'all neighborhood all damn day and don't see a black person. And y'all get online and talk about how Pookie destroying the black community. Y'all are hypocrites. You moved out. That's y'all main goal. Talk to any of you niggas. The first thing y'all want to do is get away from black people. But then you get away physically and then you live among us vicariously in your mind and act like Pookie is your problem when you don't even see Pookie anymore. Pookie ain't hardly none of y'all problem. First of all, the lifestyle that Pookie live is rare. It's very few people out there. It's like 1% of any major city's population is in them streets like that. That's why them dudes almost all get to know each other. I mean, they don't know each other personally. They be knowing of each other because there's not a lot of them out there. So that means 98, 99% of the people in, in, in that environment are regular citizens. Right? So why are y'all saying that the 1% is, is was bringing down the community? They can't be. Oh, man, you know, because of the crime and everything. Most of that crime is, is kept among themselves. Now, there's some spillover these days because these, these young cats, they don't grow up under the same rules that I grew up under. We didn't mess with civilians at all. So there's some spillover, right? But still, 98 95% of all of their crime is kept among themselves. It doesn't even affect you. So they can talk about crime statistically all they want. But I mean, I grew up in a violent city. I'm from New Orleans. I got friends that never been in gunplay shootouts. They never seen nobody get shot. I mean, and they grew up right there with me. But they wasn't running the streets right there with me. They grew up right here with me. But when I went out and did what I did, they wasn't with me. So all the stuff that I've seen and done, they didn't see and do. But they right here in the same environment. So this stuff, statistically speaking, you know what I'm saying? When you start talking about the crime rates and all this stuff, you, you what you don't understand, you're still talking about... Uh, uh, on average, very isolated things. On average. Very isolated things. You know what I'm saying? Very, very isolated things. A lot of times, this is violence that, that, that's within the lifestyle that these people you, um, live. It's an occupational hazard. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. You know, I've been shot. I've been shot twice. I've been stabbed. I've been hit with stuff. I mean, I know what I'm talking about because I lived it. But I was never a problem for the square. And that was never the reason why our community was on a decline from way back then. And it's gotten worse. More and more of us live in suburbs now, but we still sit online and talk about how Pookie in the hood is making is bringing down a black community. 
And these dudes out here trying to live their life. They, they, they trying to live their best life. They ain't worrying about us. They ain't sitting around talking about the squares of messing up the black community, which will be true. Because while we preaching economics, they hear that. Our leaders preach money. They hear that. Money is what you need to rise above this situation. So they go out and they chase money. Except they do it through the streets. And when they get money, y'all get mad. Because with money does come some, some women, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, they get women, they get pretty women. But it's the types of women they get that, that, that really should turn you off. It's not about how they look, it's the types. I wouldn't want their types. But anyway, they chase money because this is what they hear from the leaders of the black community. That we should that we should be more involved in economics. Money, 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 money. Education, education. Well, them dudes know they ain't trying to go to school. So they like, well, you said that money will circumvent all of the problems. So I'm going to go chase this dollar. I'm not smart enough to go to school. I'm not good at school. I can't sit there in them classes like that. But I can hustle. I can get my grind on. I can rap. Most of them can't rap, but you know, I don't, this stuff they call rap today, I don't know what the hell it is. But anyway, I can get on the mic and make noise. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? So I'm gonna go that route because the leaders of the black community has told me that money will make, will, will circumvent all other obstacles and barriers that I face in America. Because that's what they preach to y'all. Powernomics, huh? Dr. Claude Anderson. That's what they preach. Boyce Watkins, huh? That's what they preach to y'all. Money. Uh, uh, Vicky Dillard, the kind artist who did jail time. Still preaching on uh, money scams. You know what I'm saying? That's what they preach to y'all, right? It's all about economics, right? That's Negronomics, bro. Because now that these dudes hear that and all they do is talk about money, y'all get mad at him. He ain't talking about money. Get your money, man. Uh, get your money, man. Uh. You know what I'm saying? So now they they talk about money all the time and all these songs, popping jewelry and you know what I'm saying? All this stuff. Now y'all mad at them because they beat y'all to the finish line. It's what y'all wanted. It's what the leaders told us to go after. They heard it and they went after it. And now they got it. And now everybody who went the other route, the safe route, is mad at them. Don't be envious of those dudes, man. Believe me, you don't want to be. Their lives is hell, and it's oftentimes very short. You don't want to be them dudes. Let them dudes be what they are and let them do what they do. You focus on you. Stop letting these people hold you back by shoving Pookie is your problem down your throat. Letting them turn you to some type of angry, bitter creature based on dudes that you don't even come in contact with. Based on dudes whose lifestyles you know nothing about. Based on dudes you actually know nothing about. You couldn't even begin to understand what makes these dudes do what they do. Because you are not cut from that cloth. That's a good thing for you. That's a good thing for you. But y'all don't realize there's a reason why brothers like me square up at a certain point and leave that stuff alone. If that lifestyle was, was, was the glorious lifestyle, that, that was the glamorous life, like Sheila E said, we all be still trying to live it. But it's not the glamorous life. It's not the glamorous life. We hit it, we try to get out of it when we can, and if we don't, if we don't hit that lick, we, we retire, man. We come out that stuff and we leave it alone, bro. Because it's not the glorious life. It's a very dangerous life. It's a very short life. It's a very stressful life. But somehow, all of these conditions of the lifestyle of Pookie that he is under is his fault. When those conditions existed when he was born, when those conditions existed when his mama was born, when those conditions existed when his grandparents were born, and so forth, it has only gotten worse. It has not gotten better, it's gotten worse. It's worse. And we're still blaming them for, for a situation that they did not create. But what's the point of blaming them? What, 
what do we get out of blaming them? How does blaming them benefit us as a so-called community? It don't. Because they are not the problem. They are proof that there is a problem. His girlfriend, let me pull her back up, cut from the same cloth and environment that he's cut from. She is proof that there is a problem. Rainbow color hair. She is proof that there is a problem. She is not the problem. She is proof that something is broken. Brothers like him are not the problem. He is proof that something is broken. So we got to understand what we're looking at and stop letting these people shove this pookie is the problem stuff down our throat so we don't notice what the real problem is, which is those that are telling you that pookie is the problem. They are the real problem. Anybody's online, be it social media, the official media, activists, I don't care who it is. If they are trying to convince you that pookie is why black people got it so bad in America, they are lying to you. And you are supporting them economically in one way or another. So that they can lie to you. You never wonder why nothing has changed for us. It's only gotten worse. Because now everybody can trick us. We couldn't be fooled like this before, man. You know, there was a time when you just couldn't tell us that this is why, you know what I'm saying, um, this is. And we believe it. We knew better. We don't know better anymore. Now you can tell us anything because we want to believe in certain things. And, and Pookie being the problem is one of the things we want to believe. For some reason, it make you feel good to know that or to believe that, hey, his kind of the problem, not my kind. Nah, it's these cats with PhDs that's the problem. It's these ordained ministers that's the problem. It's these politicians that's the problem. It's these people with BAs, you know, bachelor degrees, master degrees. These are the problem. It's the people that you believe in when they talk. They are the reason why our conditions are the way they are. Not dudes like the street dudes. They are bottom feeders trying to get it. You are trying to get it too. You just, you in the, you in a hamster wheel trying to get it you went a safe route trying to get it they went a dangerous route trying to get it that's the only difference if 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 pookie and ray ray is, is responsible then you are responsible because you are also participating in this madness by trying to get up and go go, go get an education and go to jobs and work all day and, and and then get online and complain about how the dude in the street he make us look bad because he don't work you work Hell, you working? Why you worrying about what he doing? He don't make me look bad. They ain't a pookie on the planet make me look bad. I don't care about what them dudes do. I don't live that lifestyle no more. I have nothing to do with them dudes. I wish they'd be safe. You know, I, but they need to stick to the cold, though. They don't have a cold right now, so I can't really say nothing good about them either. They don't have a cold right now. We had a cold. You know, some of the stuff they do, we just wouldn't have did. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, I'm. they're not my people. So they're not representing me and their actions don't, don't, don't have any reflections on me, but they do have a reflection on the core teaching that we have in the community. They are a reflection of the society at large, not the black community, but American society at large. They are proof that this thing is broken. And while y'all talk about Pookie all the time, y'all forget that white boys commit crimes too. And just the highest, just in, and just as high of numbers as do the black men. White boys have gangs. They shoot each other. They go after each other. They rob each other. They sell dope to each other. Everything that goes on in our so-called hood goes on outside of the hood. But you don't have no white folks online talking about the meth dealer is <laughs> it's the problem for the white community. They don't say that. They don't say that. And, and, and that's really a problem for the white community. You got whole small towns 
that have then have been wiped out from overdoses because they're drugs. Their situation is severe. We are nowhere near what they're going through. Nowhere near it. Nowhere near it. But yet we still find some way to act like that small percentage is the reason why we go through all the economic problems we have. We go through all the systemic problems we have. Systemic racism exists because of Pookie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can't get a fair shake in society because of Pookie. White folks don't like us because of Pookie. They don't like us because they don't like us, bro. Got nothing to do with Pookie. Got nothing to do with Pookie. They don't like us because they don't like us, man. You know what I'm saying? So we got to get away from this 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 this, this social economic view and what i mean by social economic, i mean this value system that we place on pookie whereas we think that pookie is worth more than he actually is pookie carries no weight he carries no weight the only the only thing pookie serves is is, is a way for those that talk to us to continue to divide us up here because like i say Physically, most of y'all don't even live in the hood no more. So I don't know why y'all worrying about what goes on in the hood. Right now, y'all should be looking at something else. What can we do from here? Listen, we left that area. Now, what we gonna do here? But see, y'all can't, y'all, you, you see, you don't wanna focus on that because you got no answers for that. I challenge y'all, prove me wrong. Leave Pook and Ray Ray alone. Do y'all thing now. They don't exist. Look, y'all not competing with them. Y'all should not want the women they get. Women, y'all should not want them. Excuse me. Y'all should not want them. So, y'all shouldn't want them. Uh, 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 y'all shouldn't want the women they get, and the women should not want those men. Those men. So, now that we have established that, we're not competing with them. All this stuff about they get all the pretty girls. No, they don't. They don't get, they, they don't get no woman that you should want. So, you're not competing with them. That's like if me and you go out, right? Any of y'all, bro. I like older women. You know what I'm saying? So we go out, you might see chicks, you know, I don't know how old y'all are, but let's say you see chicks from 30, you know, say, say you're around 30. They got chicks in there from 30 to, say from 30 to 60, right? You know what I'm saying? From 30 to 65 or something like that, right? That's a wide range. You probably will never, never had that in one area. But I'm going to be shooting at everything, you know, saying 45 and above. See, you'll be shooting at everything 45 and down. We are not competing with each other. What you want, I don't want. What you like, I don't like. Thus is how it is with Pookie, or how it should be. We should want nothing they have, not their lifestyles, nothing. So that means they are not our problem. We are our problem. Because we are letting people constantly push this division down our throat. We are the problem. No more Negronomics dealing with Pookie. We're going to end this, this Pookie situation, you know what I'm saying? Let me pull this background back up one more time before I get out of here on this here. We're going to pull this. We're going to end this, this Pookie situation. These Negro nomics, the economics of the power of the Pookie problem. We're going to end that officially. We're going to stop talking about Pookie. And we're going to start trying to live our lives. We're going to start. If y'all want to do a community type thing, then start a new community. Say, say, say officially that Pookie is no longer a part of y'all community okay now move on so now we should start seeing a black community that rise but you won't you know why because the real problems is bigger than pokey and y'all know it for some reason y'all have reached a place in your mind where scapegoating makes y'all feel good it may but it don't really change anything and that's the problem scapegoating changes nothing so if we want to make real change, we got to actually make real change. And it starts with self. I self am Lord and master. You start with yourself. You start with the man in the mirror. You don't worry about nobody outside of you. You be selfish. You move for you and by you only. That's how you do things. I'm going to talk about that soon. I'm going to ask a simple question. Forget about everybody else. Forget about anybody else in your ear. Forget about these ideologies. How would you move 
for you? What, what, what do you want really out of life? I've asked this question many times and y'all scared to answer because y'all recognize them as trap questions. Y'all know if y'all say, well, I want to be married, I want this. And then the question becomes, well, if you want to be married, why sit online all day and complain about women instead of trying to understand them? Instead of trying to figure out how to work with them? They are, they are people and they have been indoctrinated. It is not going to be that easy. You either deal with the ones you got access to here or you start figuring out how to find some from other cultures. That is your options. But y'all know that and then y'all get mad. See, I just talked about that in the last video. I actually talked about this, 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 this these things that, that black men must understand before they date a black woman, right? And I talked about how y'all don't really want to go nowhere else because you don't really believe you can. So although you're not happy with what you have access to, you don't believe you can go anywhere else. So you, you, you think you're stuck because this is what they're telling you. These people y'all listen to is lying to y'all. You are not stuck. And I ain't talking no past poor bro silliness. I've dated women. I've, this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all ain't hearing no OG. I've dated women for, from over 25, 26 countries right here in America. And I'm not talking about they were born here, their mom was from somewhere. No, they were born and raised. They grew up as an they reached adulthood elsewhere and came to America for whatever reason. I met them here. So their cultures were different. I didn't have to pass Port Bro and travel. I met them here. You got to get out and talk to women. But see, y'all afraid to do that and sitting back blaming Pookie, it's easy for you. Blaming dudes that 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 should not even be competing with you. Y'all accuse them of stealing all the women. You see the woman he had. You tell me, did he steal anything from you? Because he ain't steal nothing from me. And again, I ain't I ain't knocking the brother. I ain't knocking the, I ain't knocking the sister. I'm just saying they hood. They 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 just products of that environment. That's all I'm saying. I don't like those types, right? I mean, I, that's not my type. You know what I'm saying? That's not, even when I was in the ghetto, I never dated women like that. Never. Contrary to what y'all believe, not everybody, that's what I was saying earlier. They, they represent one, two percent at the most. Most people in the hood not like them. So why we focus on them? Why we make them the norm when they're not even the norm? Because they shining. They doing their thing. They living their best life. You know, it, it's, it's a rub in your face. I get it. You work hard, man. You struggling. You know what I'm saying? You look up, you see this dude walking around with a fine chick, man. You know, all iced out and stuff. You're like, man, the hell? Okay. That's not a normal reaction. When you see that, you should be like, good for him. I'm going to keep grinding my way. I'm not going that way. Good for him. Though. I hope he's happy. That is the reaction you should have when you see that. Instead of being angry when you see it, you should be like, you know, good for him. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, this is my path though. I'm gonna keep walking my path. You know what I'm saying? That's the attitude you should have. But we don't have it. We, we've descended into hatred. And y'all know it. And that's why nobody wants to answer the question of, what do we get out of hating on these people? What do we get out of blaming them? officially separate them from your community now y'all get together and y'all build your own where do you go from here because they don't represent me you know what i'm saying at all so i mean i'm living my life i'm doing my thing my way they did theirs their way i'm doing mine's my way so y'all got to go back to being selfish how what do you want out of life when you answer that question honestly to the world. See, because I know you know it on the inside, but you don't want to say it on the outside because now you're going to be required to act upon it. When you start getting honest enough to say that answer out loud, then you start making changes for yourself. Not, not, not for the people around you, not for your group, not whatever, for you. Because that's how I move. I don't care what nobody say. I move for cush. I moved to the benefit of Kush. Nobody else. 
Me and mine, my wife is tied to me, so she is part of Cush. Me and mine, I move to the benefit of Cush. And that's how you got to be, my brother. That's how you got to be, my sister. So we're going to leave this myth alone that uh, Pookie is somehow destroying our community because Pookie ain't got nothing to do with why our community is messed up. They are products of an environment. They are evidence that there's a problem, but they are not the causes of the problem. So we need to stop supporting all these channels that tell us Pookie did this and Pookie is the reason for this, Pookie is the reason for that, because I see the hatred y'all have for these people. And that's another strange thing, you know, um, Brother Grinch talked about that, how y'all got this venom in y'all hearts for the kinds of men that y'all know damn well y'all ain't about to run up on. Y'all know damn well y'all, that, that, that dude, King Von, actually killed people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Before he got killed, he actually killed people, you know? Y'all ain't about to run up on them dudes. Let me, let, me, let me pull him back up. You know what I'm saying? Because for, for, for all you can say about him, one thing for sure, he put that iron on dudes. He put that iron on dudes. Y'all ain't about to run up on these dudes, but y'all get this venom in y'all hearts for these kinds of dudes. Y'all ain't about to mess with them kind of dudes, man. So leave that alone. They live in a whole different world, man. Leave it alone. Because y'all ain't about to run up on them dudes. So don't need pumping yourself up online. You know, talking about how much time you're giving you as a judge. Because that's what you wish. You wish you could punish them for whatever reason. You wish you could hurt them. But you don't realize they already hurting, bro. They already hurting. Don't let all that ice jewelry fool you. They hurting. They hurting. Their lifestyles are miserable. Most of them don't end up married if they don't, if they don't die young. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they, they, they lifestyles are miserable, bro. They hurting already. You don't need to punish them. The lifestyle they live is hard enough. Oh, teaching, bro. It's teaching. Get you together. Get you together. Focus on you. So next time you hear a video on, on YouTube talking about Pookie is the problem, nah, dog. You tell them, nah, them dudes ain't our problem. Our problem is systemic. And last I checked, Pookie don't control the system. Support the channel any way you can, man. You can like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon. That, that helps. Go down to the comment section, leave a thumb up, an emoji, you know, I can say anything you want, you know what I'm saying? That helps. Uh, you want to throw me $5, you know what I'm saying? Venmo at the Black Alpha, Cash App at the Black Alpha, uh, PayPal at RealBlackAlpha at gmail.com. That's RealBlackAlpha at gmail.com for PayPal. So throw me five bucks, you know what I'm saying? If you want to do it, I mean, if not, I, I'm, I'm not sweating it, you know what I'm saying? I got my money stacked to go do what I'm trying to do. But, I mean, if you want to help me get there faster so I can give it back to you, because that's my plan, I'm going to share it. If y'all help me get there, I'm going to share it. I'm going to just keep saying that and let y'all make the choice. But it's funny that, you know, I'm not trustworthy. But I ain't do nothing but tell y'all the truth since I've been on YouTube. I don't lie to y'all, man. I will never lie to y'all. I will never deceive y'all because that's not how I rule. It's not in my character. It's not in my makeup. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to tell y'all the truth because as I tell y'all, a lot is putting this on my heart, man. You know, I'm not a spooky type, religious type person, but I am a spiritual person, bro, and I am a Muslim. A lot is putting this on my heart, man. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is, this is something that I need to do because y'all need to hear it. So support me any way you can from liking, sharing the video to subscribing to the channel, hitting the bell icon, to throwing me a few bucks at Venmo. Black Alpha, um, Cash App at the Black Alpha, and PayPal at realblackalpha at gmail.com, you know, however you want to do it. But on that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it out, bro, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. the Black Alpha Salam.